Alivium is now integrated with Ledger's hardware wallet, which means that you can safely secure, store and send your cryptos. In this video, I'm going to take you by the hand, step by step on how to set everything up. And then once we're at the end of this video and you decided you wanted to purchase a Ledger device, make sure to use my link down below. Let's go. Before we start, we need to make sure of a couple of things. First, we need to initialize our Ledger device and have the latest firmware on it. Now the Ledger Live app needs to be ready to use and we need to have the Alivium browser extension installed. Now let me first quickly show you how to install this extension. I'm using Chrome, so I'm going to click here, Chrome, and it's taking me to this site, chromewebstore.google.com. I can add this to Chrome and it says like, this app can do the following, read all your data, etc. I'm going to click add extension. And then we have these two options, create a new wallet or restore an existing wallet. Now for this step, because we're going to connect it to our ledger, we need to create a new wallet. So that's the option that I'm going to pick. Then it asks me to create a password and to repeat the password. So let's pick a strong password. Let's click create wallet. And then you get this pop-up, pin the Alivium extension for quick access. And it says your wallet is ready. Join the Alivium's community, follow them on Twitter and join their Discord. Now I'm already in both, so I can just click finish, which means that the extension has now been installed and we can move on to the next step, which is opening up the Ledger Live. Now you need to connect and unlock your Ledger device. So that's very easy. Just connect it to your computer and then follow the steps on the device basically. Now, next up is finding Alivium in the app catalog okay and then a disclaimer is to make sure that your ledger device has the latest firmware otherwise you won't be able to see the alivium app so make sure you update your firmware so that you can follow along with this tutorial so that requires us to go to my ledger and then in the app catalog let's find alivium okay here we have alivium and let's click install now you will get an installation window and your device will say processing and then once it's done you will see installed then it's time to just close this down and to disconnect your ledger and then go back to your extension wallet now let's click it and then click on your current account name and then click on the plus sign right here and then before you click connect ledger you need to make sure that the group is set to zero Otherwise you can run into some issues. Sign is gonna be default. Let's click connect ledger, use a ledger hardware wallet. And then it comes up with plug in and unlock your ledger device and open or install the Alivium ledger app. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to click continue and it's gonna detect ledger account added. Your ledger account has been successfully imported and your secure self custody. Let's click finish. And then you see your ledger device address and group zero. All right, and during this tutorial, you might see this ledger number change from two to four. That has to do with the fact that at first when I did this, the group was set to any. If you have the group set to any, it just picks any group. Then I went to agent to connect it and it didn't work. So it's really, really important that you select the group zero. Now to be absolutely sure, we can also verify this, right? So let's click on add funds. And then you see a QR code with an address and we can verify with Ledger with this button. So let's click it. Then your Ledger gives you a prompt review address. You can go to the side, it shows you an address and you can verify that it's the right one. Confirm it. And that's how you know you're sending your Alivium to the right wallet. Now let me put some funds on this and go to the next segment of this video. Let's move on to the next part of this video, which is me showing you how to swap on a DEX like Agent. Let's go. So I've put some Alivium on my wallet. Now let's say I want to send it somewhere. I can just click here, Alivium, and that will allow me to choose an amount and the recipient's address. So let me send some. So I'm gonna send an X amount. I'm going to choose the recipient's address, which is my own one. I'm getting the option to save the address. For convenience purposes, I'm gonna do that. You can then give that address a name. So let me call this main Alivium wallet. The address is shown beneath it and it says it's mainnet. Now let's click save and then it shows up here like so. So main Alivium wallet. Right, let's click next. We can review the transfer. So I'm gonna send ELF from the Ledger device to my other wallet. I'm gonna click sign with Ledger, which requires me to look at my Ledger device again. Now I've got a Nano S, so I need to use the buttons. It says review output number one. So it says the amount that I'm gonna send. It shows me the two address and then I can and click continue so let me select that it shows me the fees i can accept and sign and now the transaction has went through now if you click the refresh button up here you will see that it's now gone including the fee that has to be paid for this transaction right so that's how you can easily send assets from this wallet to a wallet of your choice or an exchange or whatever you want now let's go to one of their DEXs. let's pick agent so go to agent.app and then enter beta. And then first let's connect our wallet. 
And we're going to pick the extension. We can connect the desktop as well, but we want to use our ledger. So extension, leave in browser wallet. We're getting a pop-up, connect to agent DeFi, welcome, group zero, mainnet. And this is why I said it's important to use group zero, because if you use any other group, it won't work. You will get a message saying there's no account on mainnet group zero, create one, and then you create a wallet, but it's not your ledger hardware wallet. And that defeats the whole purpose, right? So make sure when creating the ledger wallet or when connecting it, you're using group zero, select account to connect, which is the ledger device. This app will be able to read your wallet address request transactions. I'm going to click connect. And now we are live in agent swap and we can swap so and before you can swap on agent it's important you have blind signing on as well because that gave me some issues during this tutorial so you need to open up the app the Elevium app then you need to go to the part where it says blind signing you can enable it or disable it and make sure it's enabled now let's try and swap some tokens right so we've got elf i'm gonna swap 10 elf i'm gonna swap them for let's right it gives me around two agent this basically looks like any other swap platform. I'm going to click swap. And that gives me a pop-up showing a review debt transaction. It's showing me the fees up here. It's showing me how much I'm going to swap. It shows the account. So the ledger account, mainnet, any transaction has. Let's click sign with ledger. And then it shows an exclamation mark saying blind signing. Right? It shows me the fees. And I can accept a risk and sign. So that's what I'm going to do. And hope for the best. And you see that. Transaction submitted, view transaction on Explorer, swap more coins. Now let's go to the swap overview again and let's select the token that I've just purchased. So agent. Now you see my agent balance up here and that's how easy it is to swap. So in short, what you need to do is you need to get yourself a ledger device, which you can find in the link down below that will give you a nice discount. Then you need the Alivium browser extension as well for either Chrome or Firefox, for instance. Then you need to open up that extension wallet. You need to click on the plus sign. And then add a new account where you can pick connect your ledger. But before you do, make sure the group is set to zero. Otherwise, you might run into some issues. Then you need to sign everything with your ledger device. And that will generate you a new account. And then you can do the same things I've shown you in this video, right? So leave a comment if you found this video helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. Doei!